appreciate uh, uh, Saul's leadership and, and pulling this together, as he, he said, in a very, very short order. Uh, to our friends out on the net, what's up? How you doing? <laughs> we got some work to do, and we're so glad that you're part of this effort, uh, even though you're not physically here. Uh, you're a part of what we're going to be doing uh, going forward. Certainly to David and Cyrus, thank you so much uh, for pulling all this together and, and working with uh, our, our leader here in terms of pulling all of this in place for you. And uh, thank you for showing up. Uh, bottom line is, if we haven't done it, let's do it. If we haven't thought of it, think about it. If it hasn't been tried, why not? If it's going to be outside the box, and I usually hate that term, <laughs> then not only keep it outside the box, but take it to some place the box hasn't even reached yet. And the goal of bringing the party into the 21st century is all of that and then some. And it is relying on a group of individuals that are not only technologically savvy, not only smart, capable, but creative, innovative, and see the fun of doing this. Seeing the fun of doing this. Saul and I clicked long before we got into a chairman's thing because we saw the fun in doing what we did as state chairman, uh, as techno geeks, that's my speak, not his. He calls himself a little bit more high breed techno person, I'm kind of catching up. Uh, he was Twittering, I think, before there was Twitter. Uh, but the idea of taking talent and putting it in the room and unleashing it, that's what I want to do. We are in the throes of wrapping up the first layer of this with an intranet, with every state party connected, talking to each other, sharing ideas and strategies and learning how to communicate in a technological global marketplace. The Obama administration, then campaign Obama, uh, recognized that there was a new generation of opportunity out there and they weren't going to sleep at the switch, they were going to try it. And they were going to find creative, innovative ways to reach every person they could touch. And I want to do that, but not only do I want to touch them, I want to invite them to dinner. And I want to have something on that plate for them that they're not going to get indigestion from, but want to gobble up and have more of. And so this is a way of helping us create a new message for our party, the new ideas that we hope to convey to the American people. And we want to have at the forefront, the vanguard of that, you. Whether you blog, whether you Twitter, whether you Facebook, or you just sit in front of a computer and stare, sometimes like I do, <laughs> just marveling at all the information you can access in that much time. Whatever and however you come into this forum, this genre, we want you to be a part of our team. For far too long, we've looked at those in technology as the guy or the gal who can stop that damn light from blinking on the VCR. <laughs> Well, we don't use VCRs anymore. It's a whole new day, it's a whole new opportunity, and I want you to know, we want you to be a part of it. And uh, I don't think I know put in place someone who not only gets it, but does it, uses the technology, knows how to use the technology, <coughs> and most especially knows how to help us integrate it into the everyday operation of this body, this building, but most especially our state parties, our grassroots organizations, and the like. When we get to 2010, I want my campaigns here. I want whatever we're doing to be within my thumb's reach. I want to not only use the phone to call home, but I want to use it to download, upload, share, text, do whatever it needs to touch voters, identify those voters, and have something to say to those voters. And you're going to help us do that. 
So, there are two things that will get you kicked off this team. I'll just tell you straight up. I'll tell you like I told the staff when I met with them here at the RNC. To tell me, well, we've always done it that way. Or, we've never done it before. Tells me that your fear, you're afraid of innovation, you're afraid of pushing the envelope, and I don't want to have anything to do with you. So go, go back and stare at the computer. <laughs> but if you're ready to push the envelope, if you're ready to push me, and you're ready to challenge the way we've done the same old, same old, then I may find some money for you to do it. I may force an opportunity or two on those who belligerently come into the 21st century and go, I don't know how to do a computer. We'll teach you. State parties have got to get a clue. They've got to get part of this program. And I don't care what class or school you're from. We are not going to allow technology to beat us. We're going to use it, and we're going to improve on it. As I said at the beginning, when, when Saul and I were kind of battling head to head, uh, and the one thing that we would say in concert, uh, among other things, was, we don't want to just do what the Obama campaign and the Democrats did in 08. That's the floor. And I'm telling you that's the floor. All you folks out there in internet land, that's the floor. So get busy thinking about how we take the elevator up and how we make this thing work and how we push the envelope on a new frontier. I'm looking to the scientists of technology uh, to deliver a good product that we can put in the field every day. This is my campaign. Help me get here and from here to the voters. Thank you guys very, very much.